Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee from BlackCatBooks.org, author of Cruel, Cruel and Beautiful, Eye of the Dragon, and the uh, the Heroes 7 blog. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's satirical gaming news that I haven't actually talked about on the channel yet. But yes, I have been doing that again. Uh, it is It has been a lot of fun. I really enjoy getting back into uh, covering gaming topics. Uh, please check that out. So, Battlefield has been a really interesting example. Probably like... Probably the first ever example of an extremely woke game uh, getting lambasted by the audience, like a, seeing a sharp decline in sales and uh, completely losing its appeal among its core user base and having to like kind of backtrack a little bit. Like we've been seeing this in society for a while now. We've been seeing like comedians making more like racist jokes again. We've been seeing like politicians like start talk uh, and newscasters start talking about like anti-white like narratives and stuff like that um you, you know you've been seeing like sup the supreme court like uh, making making uh surprisingly conservative decisions uh th this is like the reason they're doing this like backtracking on like the wokeness is because like people have woken up to the fact that like these policies are extremely toxic and will not fucking work and like are starting to push back against it so where battlefield is concerned right uh People, with the last Battlefield game, uh, it was, for those of you who don't remember, it was an extremely woke experience that I, I believe, like, really uh, glamorized, like, the role of women in World War II. Like, you had, like, women, like, going uh, on the front lines and, like, taking out, like, entire Nazi and, like, encampments and stuff like that. Like, uh, doing all this crazy stuff. Like, basically, like, winning the war <laughs> for America and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Female soldiers were the were the true heroes of World War II, according to that that historically accurate Battlefield game. And uh, there were a lot of people who sort of like called them out on this. I think even Angry Joe, who is extremely liberal, you know, and and any the Sarkeesian supporters are like a real piece of shit, right? Uh, even Angry Joe called them out on it in his, in his review and like suggested you don't buy it if I if I recall correctly. So like uh, the game tanked. Um, didn't do as well as expected, at least. I'm not sure, like, how exact what the numbers are, because, you know, I don't care about Battlefield. I'll never I'll never play a Battlefield game. I'm never going to do it, even before this uh, this situation. So uh, this thing, like, tanked so hard that, like, uh, nobody bought it. Like, nobody bought into their propaganda, their bullshit, their nonsense. Like, uh, much like the Galette commercial, that, like, shit on men, its primary audience, uh, this, all, that's, this had, like, a similar effect, where, like, people saw it, and we're immediately just like, nope, and just like uh, went and played some Nintendo games. So uh, what EA and DICE have had to do is that they've had to like uh, go back to the drawing board and say like, okay, we're just going to have to like not talk about how political our, our games are in marketing. Because like if we talk about like the things we want to do in our games, like, you know, pushing like, you know, uh, Eek, eek, uh, like uh, the whole like climate change narrative. Um, I haven't talked about climate change. Uh, climate change on this channel before. Uh, climate change is not real. Not not in the way it's presented by like the government and the media and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I think the new battlefield has like stuff to do like has something to do with like climate change and like refugees and stuff like that. Like extremely political shit, right? Stuff that they're clearly going to like spin into like uh, pushing certain political narratives. But the marketing, like the, the developers, are like insisting that like. The, uh, the game is apolitical. They, it doesn't have a political agenda. They're not trying to shove it in your face this time. What they're trying to do is trying to like shove it in your face like subtlety. Like they're going to like they're going to like sell you on like a battlefield game and then like shove like you know their their uh, propaganda into it like without your like knowledge or consent of it. Like if you knew this stuff was in the game, Right, you would just avoid it. You would just not buy it. So what they're doing, trying to do, is trying to like prevent that from happening. So um, my suggestion, like, I, I don't, I don't even think I, for me personally, right, like I don't buy EA games in period, like period, like right, like I don't support them. I don't, I don't care about them at all. They're they're a piece of shit company that hasn't produced anything good in in years. Like I'm actually playing an EA game now, actually, uh, Alice. You know, um, the classic like 2000. Um, 2000 like PC game like the dark fantasy like Alice in Wonderland game love that shit but that, that was came out in like 2000 okay that came out like you know 20 years ago 21 years ago 
Really good game. I love it, but uh, EA doesn't usually put out stuff that's good. They like, haven't put out anything good, I think, ever. Like, people talk up Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge wasn't that good. People talk about, like, Battlefield. Battlefield was never that good. Like, these games have always had serious problems that people overlook because, like, it was the cool, trendy thing to support. And now, I think, uh, uh, the public is starting to turn on, like, woke woke uh, creators, right? Like, I'm seeing, like, you know, on Twitter, like, Stephen King getting harassed in public for being a complete retard. Like, you, you know, people just aren't watch, watching the Oscars. Like, uh, you know, people aren't buying video games from certain people because, like, because it's just, it's become such a prevalent issue of just sheer retardation. Like, from all angles, like, pe people are, like, trying to reject it. Like, it it's why people voted Donald Trump in twice, right? Because we are sick of this PC nonsense. So, uh, Battlefield, I, I don't think this is going to do much to restore their reputation. I think, like, one bad release is enough to tank most video games in this day and age. I don't think Battlefield is ever really going to make a recovery. Like, you're going to have, like, Angry Joe try to chill it, but I think I think more and more people are going to start, like, moving away from these franchises in general for, like, more reasonably priced, uh, better alternatives from smaller developers. Like, hopefully the... Um, Hopefully people realize more and more that, like, the only truly apolitical video game company is Nintendo. Like, one that, like, actively says that, like, yeah, we don't put political things in our games. Like, there's nothing political about them. And, like, you can you can see that because there's no, there's no propaganda in them. There's no, like, the, <laughs> there's no, like, conspiracy there. Like, they just don't do it. And uh, so for those of you who are, like, boycotting Battlefield... Just buy a Nintendo Switch. Just buy, like, Splatoon 2. Like, just enjoy Nintendo games for what they are.